Hey, hi everybody. This is just a quick demo of something I'm working on that I wanted to share with everyone. This combines two of the things I really like in life, old school arcade games and Star Trek. So you can see over here, I've got my kind of tiny little enterprise shape. And then over here, I've got some code. And I'm gonna be doing something called vector graphics. And let me show you what that looks like and then I'll explain. Here's my program. You can see I've got, uh, I forget, maybe I don't know, 50 little uh, mini enterprises on the screen. And this is what's known as vector graphics. Now it's, it's a simulation of vector graphics. It's not really vector graphics, but it's, it's close, close enough for our purposes. And vector graphics was just an old type of arcade or old type of graphic system where instead of using like little bits, uh, like normal screens that what you're used to, it actually drew lines. Now, you know, of course in a modern monitor, we don't have that option, but we can simulate it by drawing each of these lines individually. Okay, and so how I did that was, let me go ahead and see if I can shrink that down a bit, there we go, was I first designed my shape over here. I just made a little Google Doc to do that. And here's my center, that's at zero and zero. So that would be, that's gonna end up being my X and Y coordinate. And it's really important to make your shape symmetrical. So when you rotate it, it rotates about this central axis. Okay, and so I just did a little Star Trek Enterprise type shape in, basically just lines. And so what you see here is that's what's on the screen. So you can see some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. Now this isn't really a tutorial, I'm not gonna walk you through the code, but I will share it down below. Uh, maybe I will walk through someday because this, this is a bit complicated. But basically what I did was I took all of these coordinates. So you can see here, I started at negative eight, four. So that would be negative eight and four. And I went from negative eight, four to negative two and four. So I drew this line. Then I put a blank, which means pick up the pen, go to the next one, which was negative eight, negative four, and then draw over to negative two, negative four. Picked up the pen again, and then went to negative five, negative three, I drew this part. Actually should have started here and gone all the way, but that's okay. Um, and so I'm basically just drawing it line for line. So let me go ahead and, uh, comment out when tracers so you can see actually what's going on when I run this. So this will run it just very, very slowly. So you can see how it's drawing the left nacelle, and it's still a little fast, but you can see left, right, middle, and it draws the, the I guess the bridge part, the main part of the, the saucer section, excuse me. And you can see how they're all at different random angles. And this was just a, a little bit of a mathematical trick. I found it on some website. I can't find the website and I can't reference it, but I found it. Somebody wrote this in JavaScript and this is the code. It's, it's, it's a bunch of mathematical stuff. Um, so if you want to try this, again, download it. You can play around with it. It's written, it uses classes, so it's a bit more advanced structure than probably what you're used to from what I usually do. But it's kind of fun just to kind of play with. You can see here, I just made 50 different enterprises. They're at random places, X and Y, random headings, and DH is the, the rotation. So they just have a random rotation. And then they all have a random scale from 50% to, I guess, 2.5, so 250%. And then there's just a, a little while true loop. I clear the screen, I move each enterprise, and then I render, which means to draw in this case. And then I update the screen and just repeat over and over again. So again, let's take a look at what that looks like. And, oops, let's go ahead and speed that up real quick. And yeah, this is a fun little program. I guess I don't really need that anymore, but it's okay. And uh, where is the tracer? That's, that's the big one, the tracer. So again, sorry, I know this isn't uh, super informative, but it's just something to play with. You might want to try and draw your own shapes and see what you can get to come out of that. Okay, thanks for watching.